Hey guys, Sepco Sack Repair. Today we're working on XO100 rear brakes. Hopefully you saw my other video about the front brakes. I'll put a link up above so you can click on that. Today we're doing the rear brakes. A little bit different than the front, just taking different things off, but basically the brake shoe change is the same. So these are worn out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and change everything out. First thing you want to do is release all the pressure off of this rod right here. So we're going to just take this and loosen this all the way out. All right, so I took it all the way out because I want to take the whole brake plate off and clean everything up. So I got that. When I pull this off, this will slide out of here. Next thing I'm going to do is going to loosen the uh, axle. We have a nut on this side. It looks pretty torn up. And then we have the axle coming through here. So let me pull that off. Pull the chain adjuster out here so we can get the chain off. Pull the axle out. Okay, then on this side here, you're just going to pull it out because I have that nut all the way off. It just slides right out of here. Pay attention to this so you don't lose it. And here we go. This is what we're going to be cleaning up, put new pads in. We also want to clean all this up in here. It's got rust and water and stuff in there. We're going to clean all that out as well. While you're doing this, guys, it's always a good idea to take this off right here because these, there's a little a dot right there and a dot. You can see that, but there's a dot there on the arm and there's a dot on the shaft right here. And those are supposed to be lined up and they're not. People always take them off and they move them to try to get more life out of their pads when. They really should be just changing their pads, so um, let's pull this off here. Because you want to grease inside there where it sits into the um, into the brake plate so that it always moves freely. So I'm going to take this out. And we're going to pull this arm off here. The screwdriver. So all I did is put the screwdriver inside of here, and just twist it a little bit just to kind of open it up. Now I'm pushing on the center and I'm going to wiggle this out. This is our marker. For when your pads are worn. Okay, so we're going to take this out right here. We're going to clean all this up in here real good. Clean this up and we're going to grease this. Let me get that all cleaned up. Alright, so with that cleaned up and I have the shaft all cleaned up now, we're going to put some grease. And I'm using... Uh, this is synthetic brake pads, lubricant, it's brake parts lubricant, <laughs> brake pads, brake parts lubricant. And this is for all the stuff that, uh, you know, the metal parts are rubbing on so to keep them from corroding and make everything move smoothly. So we're just going to put a little bit on this. This is high heat stuff too, so it won't move. And then we're going to put some on here. Now there's an O-ring inside of here also that gets worn out. If you really want to go crazy, you can get a new O-ring in there, but we're just going to put some grease on there. I'm going to slide that in. It's going to push some of it out, so just take that, put it right on here. Just like that. All right, so that's good. Now, all right, so putting this on right now, there's a um, arrow on it. This is the wear indicator. There's no um, spline, like a double spline, so that it can only go on one way. You can put this on any direction you want. So what you want to do is put the arrow completely opposite of the wide. So you have the wide gap right here, just like on the fronts, where you can only put it on one way. Take the arrow and put the arrow completely opposite of that. So that will put the arrow... Right there. All right, so there's the dot. 
the wider part and we'll put the arrow completely opposite. And this way, when we're at a resting position here, completely off. Hang on, it just fell off. Let me reset it here. All right, so here's where the brakes are completely relaxed, okay? Then we apply the brakes. It's going to turn it. Okay, now that's all the way to the arrow there, and you see where that is. It's not all the way. If this, if this was to turn any further, okay? So bring it back. If this was to turn any further like that, it would lock your brakes. So we're going to set it so that the mark is right here, the pin spot is, dot is right there, and the arrow is completely opposite, and you'll be good to go on that one. So let's get the arm back on. Actually, the arm has the pin on it also. It has a little, little punch mark right there. We're going to line the punch mark up with the one that's on here on the shaft. Should be right, right there. All right, so we have the punch there and the punch there. Both of them lined up. Now we're going to put the bolt back in. All right, so with that back in, we're going to put our bolt and nut back in, the pinch bolt. All right, so that's tight. Now we're gonna go put our new pads, our new shoes back together. So we have our old one here that we took out. If you haven't done this before, you wanna leave all that together. So you can easily put them back, and just kind of match it the same way. But if you look at the springs, they're pretty simple. They go into the opposite side. So they go into the back of this one and they're gonna go into the front of this one. And then same here, it's got, see the opposite hooks on there. So we're gonna hook it into this one. And then on the top of this one. All right, so there we have our new one sitting here. Now what we're going to do is take them. And it's easy if you just, if you take them here and you put, put the one on one side and then just take your other one, just pull it over. Push them down in so they're sitting like that. We got to get them all the way in. So just get those pushed down. And there we are. All right, so let me go clean up the wheel and get that ready. All right, so this wheel is pretty bad inside. It's got some deep grooves. You can see them in there. That's why you got to keep these pads fresh. This was probably run super low on pads at one point and damaged the uh, drum in here. And really, when you damage this drum, it's, it's a new wheel replacement. You can't just change that inside ring there. So you have to get a new wheel. So make sure you keep your pads fresh. So uh, this is scuffed up the best that I can do right here. So let's throw it back together. All right, so with that barrel right in there, this groove, make sure that it goes into the slot on the swing arm so that your brakes won't rotate when you apply them. All right, so we got the groove in there. We got this coming through. We got the spring here. I'm just going to slide that forward. Yeah, we're going to get the chain on on the other side. Take the axle, and I've greased the axle with some of this um, Stayplex, Stay Lube. This is what I, I like using for all my grease guns and everything's good stuff. We're going to slide that in there. I know my arm's probably in the way. Please comment about it. You see I got my beta right there, I got no room. This is like tiny shop working. It's kind of like tiny house, but it's a tiny shop. That's what I got, boys. Get that in right there. You know how to put axle in anyway. Just pushing it through. Okay, with that one in now, we're going to put the uh, adjuster on the other side. Then we're going to take a rag. Put a rag in between the sprocket and the chain. And that's going to pull the wheel all the way forward. All right. Take your nut for your brake. Spin that on a little bit. We'll adjust that here in a second. Let's get this nut 
tightened up. All right, so here's the nut. Put it on this side here. That's a 19. Fourteen on this side. Now let's get the brake adjusted. So this right here, you're going to turn this in. And what you want to do is just pull the, push the arm in. I like just screwing it in until it starts to hit because it has like peaks on it so that it holds that barrel so it doesn't um, come out of adjustment. So just hold this forward, spin it in. Make sure the wheel can spin, apply the brakes. I like making it so it's just... Right here, see it's just, just starting to grab. As soon as you hit the brakes once or twice, that will loosen up a little bit and you'll have good brake feel. All right, guys, and that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. Uh, putting brake pads on the front and rear of these. Keep them fresh. Make sure that these bikes are going to stop for wh whoever's riding them. This is just a play bike for me, so uh, I'm going to teach a couple people how to ride on and get great for that. But guys, do me a favor. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for further notifications, guys. Until next time, this is Tepco Cycle Repair.